Q's. Part of it. We use them like buttons, yeah, like, like so. Like Bam! That is yeah. a. <laughs> 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 All right, mate. I uh, try to run away from you. Huh? All right, get back here. Get back. Here. Oh, trying to give me some tail, huh? We'll see about that, mate. I'll give you some head, huh? Bah! Yeah. <laughs> Stay down. Uh. Good day, mates. My name is Alexander Supertramp. But you all can call me Crocodile, and this here is croc -O. Now, how many of you all have wanted to wrestle a crocodile before, eh? Yeah! One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, you six are spot on, right? All the rest of you need to harden the hell up, all right? Because crocodile <laughs> wrestling is a real sport. You have every reason to want to do it, all right? For those of you that don't already want to, I'm going to give you three foolproof reasons for why you should wrestle crocodiles. The first reason, all right? Imagine. You're starving, right? And you're walking around in Georgia or in the Northern Territory or something like that, and you come across a crocodile. Well, if you've already had practice wrestling crocodiles, and that is just another item on the menu. So food, besides, tastes just like chicken. I recommend it. The second reason, well, have you ever heard of a crocodile or a burglar breaking into a house guarded by crocodiles? Well, of course not. Any burglar that tries to break into a house guarded by crocodiles gets his face chopped off. Alright, these crocodiles, excellent protection. And the third reason, and the most important reason of all, think about it like this. Wrestling crocodiles is hardcore. Alright? And so if you wrestle crocodiles, that means that you are hardcore. <laughs> so I'm telling you, mate, wrestle crocodiles because it is hardcore. <laughs> And so I guarantee you, you will find that crocodile wrestling is a very rich, rich discipline, all right? Full of opportunity. They've got crocs, anything from under a foot up to the largest saltwater crocodile, measuring 23 feet in length in India and over 2,500 pounds. And with 23 species of crocodilians, the options are, well, not endless, but there's 23 of them. <laughs> Good stuff, all right? So, now you all. Really, I guarantee you, you all really want to wrestle a crocodile, right? And that's why, thankfully, you have me here to teach you how to do it. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to give you a nice three-step method for wrestling crocodiles, guaranteed to work. It's simple, it's safe, and it is effective, all right? This method is called the noose, tackle, and tie method. Noose, tackle, and tie. And now, just so you all can remember it, repeat it along with me, all right? It's got a little ring to it. Noose, tackle, and tie. Noose, tackle, and tie. Noose, tackle, and tie. That's the stuff, mate. Give yourself a round of applause, all right? That's what I'm saying. You'll remember it. And now, once you see how, once you see this demonstration, you'll realize that it's very easy to do as well. Now, let's see. For this, I'm going to need a volunteer. Any volunteers? Uh, let's see, Tana, show me your guns here. <laughs> show me your guns. Ah, sit down and harden the hell up, all right? <laughs> Chelsea, you want to be a volunteer? Yeah. All right, come on up here. Wait, wait, wait. Show me your guns. Wait, wait. Uh, hard core. Cool. Come on up here, Chelsea. You got yourself a volunteer. Come on up here. All right. Ah, uh, no worries. No worries. Welcome to the club, mate. I'm going to show you how to wrestle a crocodile. Now stand over here real quickly. Take the invisible noose for me. All right. Now. Here's the scenario, all right? We're walking around, <coughs> starving, in need of protection, or feeling like being hardcore, or what have you, and we stumble upon a crocodile. Good work so far, mates, good work. Now, the crocodile, the first thing it's gonna do, it's gonna try to get into the water. Don't let him do that. Grab him by the tail and keep him on land, all right? You never, never, well, not until you're a professional, you never want to wrestle a crocodile in the water, because that is its element, and I guarantee you it will chomp your face off, and I guarantee you, I will be laughing at your funeral because you did not heed my words of caution. All right? Never wrestle the croc in the water. All right. So now that you've kept the croc on land, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to noose it. And there are two scenarios for this, all right? This is where you come in, all right? You ready? Ready. All right, all right. The first scenario, the mouth is shut. In that case, you're just going to throw the noose, the imaginary noose, around the snout. Good work there. Pull it tight. There we go. And she got the noose locked around the snout of the crocodile. And that is going to keep its snout shut 
But then she's going to step next to the crocodile's mouth. So the crocodile, naturally, when it closes, when the, snap, when the noose latches around the snout, it's going to roll over and it's going to pull the slack from the noose around its snout to help tie it even more shut. Great work, great work. So that way we have the croc already, you know, we've got the snout all tied up. The other case, of course, if the snout's open, it's bearing its chompers at you, you're going to latch the noose around the upper jaw so that way it'll close down, roll over, same story. So now we've got the crocodile noose. Hold on to that noose tight, all right? <laughs> Good work. Good work. The next step is a tackle, okay? And for this, what you got to do is you got to get ready for the flying baby tackle, all right? So what you're going to... What, you don't know what the flying baby tackle is? God, you Americans really need to harm the hell up, all right? The flying baby tackle. You throw a baby at someone, it's going to be flying in the air, it's going to grab onto the first thing that it can. And you want to do that because with the tackle, you're going to be throwing yourself into the danger zone and you want to gain the upper hand right away. So allow me to demonstrate the flying baby tackle in slow mo. Keep that news held tight. All right. So we're going to get here, you're going to dive, throw your chest towards the crocodile's head, land, put your legs behind the crocodile's arms, wrap your arms around the snout, and hold on tight. Now, while the crocodile can bite down with several thousand pounds of force, it cannot, ah, good to know, mate. <laughs> it cannot open its mouth with nearly as much force. So just hold on tight and you're good. So now we've noosed and tackled the crocodile. Good work, mate. So far, so good. The next step, of course, is to tie the crocodile. So you're going to grab your imaginary rope. Well, hopefully not imaginary in the real world, but uh, you're going to grab the rope. You're going to hold the snap shut with one arm. You're going to tie it around really quickly. You're going to step back, tie its arms up tie his legs up, and the next thing you know, you've got a crocodile that's been noosed, tackled, and tied. Good work, mate. All right. Good work. All right, Wallace, you can sit down now. Everybody give a round of applause for Chelsea. She's been great. She's been great. Good work. Good work. So now I've just shown you the three-step method for how to wrestle a crocodile. The noose, tackle, and tie. I guarantee you, you use this method, you will be met with success. And when you're sitting by the fire, sharpening your bouncy knife, and chewing on rocks, you will rest assured that you'll be well fed, well protected, and one hardcore croc wrestler. <laughs>